Hi everyone, let's create four different sparkle animations in Procreate Dreams today. I tap on the plus. From the templates, I choose square and click draw. Let's set the background color. Click on the timer and choose color. Now we choose the brush color. I choose white. I use Oberon brush. Collapse the panel into flipbook and start drawing the first option. Let's draw a star. First I make two cross lines and then I round off the intersections. And then I paint the shape. Now we switch to the default mode by clicking on the active icon again. OK. Click on the figure and we get controls for managing this shape. Here we can reduce it a little and place it in the right place on the canvas. Now click on the frame and select full duration so that the frame fills the entire timeline. Now we open the action panel, select move, move and scale. Now we move along the timeline for one second and set a keyframe. Here, we need to call out control rotation. To do this, click once on a point on any of the corners and rotate the figure like this with a finger held down so that it is even. Let's see what we get. This is how the figure rotates. Let's now put another intermediate frame in the middle, somewhere on frame seven. OK, now we go to the first frame and, holding one of the corners, we begin to reduce the figure until it becomes really small. Now we go along the timeline to the first second. And on this frame, we also reduce the figure. Let's look at the preview. Now we need to hold down the layer with keyframes and select Set All Easing, Linear. Now the figure moves smoothly without slowing down. Go to the first frame, call the action panel, select the opacity filter, also set another keyframe on the next frame, and on the first one reduce the opacity to zero. We also put a keyframe at the end of our composition, one frame before the end of the animation opacity 100 on the last zero. And let's look at the preview. In general, you can leave it like this, but I want to add an additional increase in rays. For this, I go to the fifth frame. I call the action panel and press Edit, Split. Then I do the same on the ninth frame. Now in the resulting segment, I switch to Draw and Paint mode and increase the length of the rays. OK, let's see what we got. This is the simple first animation we got. Let's move on to creating the next star. Click on the plus Create a new track. And in the Draw and Paint mode, start drawing the appearance. The first frame is just a dot. In order to make the adjacent frames more visible, Let's click on the timer and select Edit Onion Skin. Here you can adjust the transparency and color of the adjacent frames. OK, let's move on to the second frame and draw a little bit bigger star. We continue on the third frame. In the same spirit, the central part remains practically the same size and the rays get bigger. 
Fourth frame, we increase the rays. It's more convenient to draw in flipbook mode, so I collapse the panel. On the next frame, we start splitting the rays. Each of the rays is divided into two small stripes. The central part gradually begins to decrease. On the next frame, we split the stripes even more. You can try different options. I split the first one into two more. OK. On the next frame, we start to gradually reduce them. The smallest ones become dots. The central part too. And a few more frames to smoothly reduce the remaining stripes. Watch the preview. Now I want to create a glow in a circle. For this, let's add a new track under the current one. I choose a hard brush, and by clicking on the screen once, I get an even circle. This is a small life hack, because there are no smart shapes in Procreate Dreams, and it is quite difficult to draw an even circle by hand. So we can center and control the size of our circle a little bit in default mode. Now I move it to the fourth frame and increase its duration. Call the action panel, select move, move and scale. Next, at the very end, also set a keyframe. At the very beginning, let's reduce the circle to the minimum size in order to create the effect of increasing. Also hold down the track and select set all easing ease in out. Let's see the preview. Super! Now create a new track. Switch to draw and paint mode and collapse the panel in flipbook. Oops. Now we select Oberon brush back and start drawing lines along the contour of our circle. The line should also be dashed. In the following frames, we also outline the circle and gradually break up the contour. We continue until the lines turn into dots and disappear completely. OK, now we need to turn off the layer with our circle. Let's see the preview. Super! It's time for the third spark. In flipbook mode, let's also draw a dot on the first frame. On the next frame, draw a plus sign like this. Then we enlarge it, making the rays larger. Continue. And here we tear the rays away from the center. Then the rays gradually move to the sides and get smaller. And a couple more frames until the rays turn into dots and disappear. Great, let's look at the preview. Now I want to add diagonal rays. Around the fourth frame, let's draw diagonal lines. At first, they are small. On the following frames, we increase them and move them from the center. And now we also begin to gradually reduce them until they disappear. Let's look at the preview. Great. To center this on our canvas, let's group all the frames. And in default mode, we can reduce it a little and place it down.
Well, since we're already busy with the placement on the canvas, let's also group the second spark and center it relative to the others. And the first one a little too. Great. Next we move on to the last fourth sparkle. We create a new track and fold the panel into a flipbook. We will also start drawing from a point on the first frame. Next we draw a star, but this time with diagonal rays. It seems to me that it is drawn a little crookedly, so I apply rotation. On the next frame we slightly increase all the rays, and the middle turns out a little thicker. Next frame. Our central rays increase, and the diagonal ones also grow. The central part becomes even thicker. On the next frame, we invert the length of the rays. The side upper ones become smaller, and the diagonal ones increase. You can also add a disconnection of the main ray using lines like these. Next, the main rays become even smaller, and we increase the diagonal ones. Don't forget to decrease the lines on the sides. On the next frame, we decrease the side rays. The central ones are already becoming very small, and we add lines for the side rays. Now we gradually decrease our entire shape until it disappears. Let's take a look at the preview. Great. Now we can group all the frames from our last animation and move our sparkles around on the timeline to make them sparkle randomly. And that's the animation I got today. And don't be afraid to experiment with different formats and shapes to create some effect. Tag me on Instagram if you repeat any of my YouTube tutorials. I hope today's video was helpful or interesting. See you in the next videos.